Hi, I just want to share the results of my little weird test that I did. This is homemade slime that I made to try and see if I had any parasites. I had a lady viewer suggest that she thought she has all the symptoms I have and she said that every time she plays with the slime that her daughter uh, made that when she comes back a few days later her slime has all these weird holes in it and burrow holes and her daughter's does not. So she was thinking that it might be an indicator, kind of like a petri dish, that when you hold the slime, the moisture gets the worms to come out of the, the skin and into the, the moisture of the slime. And then, uh, so when I made this, um, and watch my other blog, it shows how to make it. It's super simple. It's just Elmer's glue and um, some liquid laundry detergent. And I tapped it down like this for about 10 minutes after I put it in the container. And you can see, hopefully, in the top there, it looks like there's burrow holes up in out of the slime and back down into the putty. So it looks like they've burrowed, and you can see on the sides. Now some of the, the lines and streaks you can see look like they went from top down, like the worm was burrowing out and then went down, and other ones look like they burrowed up, and other ones, like you can see over here, are at a diagonal. So I do think this is a sort of a petri dish because it isn't straight up and it isn't straight down. If they were air bubbles, they would all be going in the same direction. They would all be looking like the air bubbles went up and the streaks would go up, but some of them look like they're going up, some of them look like they're going sideways, and some of them look like they're going down. So I do think that she was right, and I'm glad I did this little experiment. And maybe somebody who's more scientific could actually prove or disprove this, but um, I don't remember seeing holes in it when I was a kid, when I would play with it. And also, um, I don't know how I could take this and actually look at it under a microscope to prove whether there are or not. So what I think I might do is, now that I have taken videos and pictures of this with the streaking and the lines and things, you can see that it is a little weird. And I think I may just dump it out onto a plate, uh, see if I can find a clear glass plate, and see if the thinner, the thinner it is, if I can actually follow a trail mark more directly. This is huge, so it's hard to follow where the trails are going. So I may just try and find a clear glass plate or go buy one at a secondhand store and try that tomorrow. So um, thank you for viewing. Check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com and you can type in parasite, diagnosis, uh, symptoms um, in the bottom uh, in the search box at the homepage. And if uh, also you can see other stories about it on my YouTube channel where I actually just tell the story about it. Um, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.